I'm at 4619 Northeast Skidmore. Here is the front of the house. It's got a new roof on it. Cedar siding. The siding looks like it's in good shape. A great location. Nice neighborhood. I'd say the house next door is kind of the most rundown. It looks like it's mostly garden stuff up front. And then here's this house. Here's the side. So it's got an attached garage. Um, it has a new high efficiency furnace, water heater, central AC. There's other people in here too, so just FYI. So walking into the living room. Got the floors, good sized living room with a wood burning fireplace. Um, lots of windows in here, single pane original windows. And then we've got a dining room area attached here. Through here is the kitchen. We've got original cabinets, Formica countertop. Looks like newer appliances. There is gas to the house, so at some point, if someone wanted this, could be switched out. Um, to me, probably at some point, I'm guessing a buyer would want to remodel this kitchen and then linoleum flooring. There's a little bit of sloping. It looks like it's kind of along this main wall um, from outside. Let me go to the garage next, which is through the kitchen. Oh, sorry. So in the garage is the washer dryer, um, newer 100 amp panel, uh, high efficiency furnace, the electric water heater. So it's an extra deep garage and there's still space for parking. Um, because it's a two bedroom, one bath without a basement, the garage might also be needed for storage. Um, hardwood floors could handle a refinishing. So here's bedroom number one, which is huge. It looks like this back portion was an add-on. The foundation looks a little bit newer, so I am gonna look at the permits. It looks like though that it was maybe done quite a while ago because it's pretty seamless in regards to the ceiling, and I'm not really seeing any differentiation in the floor, but we do have newer windows back here. Um, here is a view of the yard, which is huge and really nice. Uh, the newer AC unit. And then bedroom number two. Well, actually, here's some storage in the hallway. Here's the bathroom. Bathroom looks like it was updated at some point, at least some of it. Um, tile it does have a pretty big vanity here and then we've got a tub shower combination with the tile surround a newer window here and then bedroom number two which has an original single pane window and then it has a newer slider that goes to a covered patio area And then that was that door to the garage. Here's the covered patio area. And yard with a shed. Shed's pretty rough. It looks like it's maybe, you know, for a lawnmower and some planting stuff. Again, here is the back of it. So it's got some new systems, which is nice. Um, it could, you know, use some TLC in regards to the floors. Kitchen's livable, but at some point it would be nice to do an update on that. It's priced at $375 with the amount of business cards. I think that it's probably going to land around $425 is my guess. 